Do you feel like your ADC calibration process is too long and too complex? It doesn't have to be. Today, I will give you a brief introduction to the ADX4 and ADX2 IPs developed by our colleagues at Teledyne SP DLC for the ADC EV12HU600 or 605. Did you know that with the ADX IP, you can reduce time interleaving spurious effect by more than 20 dB? The ADX IP can sell time interleaving mismatch effect like gain, phase, and DC offset by real time post processing treatment without implementing a time consuming and complex calibration process. You can just copy and paste the IP in your design and you are done. If you plan to use a Kintex UltraSK FPGA and want to simplify your calibration process even more, you can get this IP with the AQ600 ADC for only 15% more per part. In the ADC, we will encode a license key to activate mismatch error correction. To make integration easy, we also provide a VHDL design example based on one of our EasyStream packages. Basically, you can save weeks of development time and in just a few hours, you can create a Vivado project with the ADX IP and all required modules to start receiving samples from the ADC. Okay, now you know how to simplify your calibration process. And today, you can start evaluating the ADX IP with this demonstration kit. Let's see how it works. The ADC is configured in one channel mode with a sampling frequency of 6.4 gigasample per second. So, the four cores are interleaved. With this signal generator, I'm sending a 6.2 GHz continuous waveform on the ADC input 0. Using the graphical user interface, you can analyze the amplitude of time interleaving spur. First, without the ADX IP. We get this kind of spectrum, which is typical of a non-calibrated ADC with very high level time interleaving spur. As you can see, the half-set spur has an amplitude of minus 40 dBFS and the SFDR is 30 dBC and limited by this curve. Now, with the ADX IP. As you can see, the half-set spur dropped down to minus 83 dBFS. So this is an improvement of 43 dB. And the SFDR is now 48 dBC and limited by H2, which is typical of a well-calibrated ADC. So this will be an ideal solution to improve the performance of a 12-bit acquisition system like an oscilloscope by removing false parasitic spurs. This brings us to the end of this introductory video. Now you know how the Teledyne SP Devices ADX IP can improve the performance of the ADC EV12 AQ600 with minimal cost and development time. To learn how the ADX IP works, you can follow this link also available in the description of this video. Teledyne SP Devices provides here all technical details you need. If you want to see a specific demo or if you want to start with a design example, please contact me using the Teledyne hotline email address. I will be very happy to answer your questions. Thank you for watching and I look forward to help you simplify your calibration process.